Hey guys, Ernie here, and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. In the year 2000, MSR released what has been the most popular backpacking stove ever, I would assume, the Pocket Rocket. Now, when they released their Pocket Rocket 2 in 2017, of course, they stopped making the original Pocket Rocket. But the question is, can you still buy, on its own, separately, an original Pocket Rocket? Now, before we get too far, yes, you can still buy a new original Pocket Rocket. There are still some versions of the Pocket Rocket Ultralight Backpacking and Camping Kit. It's a little kit with a, with a cup and a stove, which is the original Pocket Rocket a lot of the times, not all the times. They're getting replaced slowly, but you still can purchase that, but you have to purchase the whole kit. We got that out of the way. So if you just want the stove, do you have an option? Well, yeah, you do. I was browsing AliExpress the other day, and I was convinced that I actually saw a pocket rocket for sale and I thought I didn't know MSR sold on AliExpress well of course they don't the company BRS has made a clone of the original pocket rocket let's take a look at it and see what it looks like so first off if you're wondering how similar these are here are our cases you can see the MSR the other one says observer they are exactly the same okay and here are our two stoves they look very similar as well can you tell which is which and I'll give you a little tidbit you can see these little moon type markings on the original MSR so that's the original one the dimensions are exactly the same 4.9 by 3.3 inside of the box and the box itself is 2.2 by 2.2 by 4.1 the weight of each let's just see what we got the original pocket rocket weighs 86 grams that's three ounces on the money the copycat weighs 84 grams three ounces same thing 84 86 i think that probably means this one's made out of a little bit more robust metal the price of the original you'll have to get it on ebay it'll be you know anywhere between 35 45 even 50 dollars the price of the copycat is 12 dollars with free shipping on aliexpress I'll put them here next to each other. There are some small differences. Like I said, you, you have these little imprints here, but the shape and size of the wind protection, this little triangle, it's much sturdier on the original, and it is on there really, really good. This other one is much uh, less sturdy. You can see it only has one um, layer of, of metal, and it's also loose. Now, of course, it doesn't come off, so that's okay. The rest of the stove looks very, very similar I mean, almost exactly the same. So the question is, do they work just the same? And do they look just the same? So let me uh, turn the lights out. I'm gonna show you guys the flame pattern on each of these stoves. Probably best just to start them together. There's our two flame patterns. Turn the lights down for you. Neither is very quiet, as you can see. Once again, over here is the imitation, and over here is the original. You can see the original, the flame pattern is completely blue, which means that it is creating a lot more heat. And the other flame pattern is much cooler. You can see that it is much redder, and you would expect that means, of course, that it will have a longer boil time. So although they look very, very similar, it is clear from the flame patterns that you have a much hotter and cleaner burn with the original than with the imitation. do I think about this stove? Is it basically the same thing as the original? Well, all appearances say yes, but the data shows that it clearly is not. Physically, the only major difference, as you guys saw, is those little 
kind of moon type emblems on the pot stands themselves or the pot supports. Otherwise they look very, very similar. There's a little bit of difference on the top with the wind protection triangle. The MSR is much more robust and the copy is a lot thinner gauge material. The difference in boil times was substantial. I'll even say that I think it was a little bit longer than what my numbers show. I had a little technical difficulty you didn't see that added about 10 seconds. So really we're looking at a difference between two minutes, 20 seconds and about three minutes, five seconds, which is a pretty substantial difference. Now they both use the same amount of fuel, 11 grams, but you could see very, very clearly. And the reason that I like to look at flame patterns, flame patterns are important. And you could see very clearly that the imitation or the BRS was much cooler. Those flames were super orange right from the start versus the original pocket rocket that was nice and blue all the way through, even in this climate controlled environment. So if you're looking for a stove just to add to your collection, something different, I think this BRS is very interesting. Now I think most people who are looking for a pocket rocket are probably doing it for collectible reasons these days. You can buy a pocket rocket too that I think is better than the original pocket rocket. If you're interested in a comparison between all three versions of the Pocket Rocket, the original, the two, and the deluxe. I'll leave a link down below. Make sure you check that out if you want to see a video about all those differences and how they stack up against each other and what I think is the best of the three. So if you're looking for an original Pocket Rocket, you're probably going to end up paying more on eBay than you would for a new Pocket Rocket 2. That means you're really looking at this from the standpoint of a collectible. If you're looking for a collectible, there is absolutely no reason to buy a reproduction. You want to get the original. Plus, you see very clearly that the original functions better. Now, it is, of course, quite a bit more expensive. You know, this imitation BRS is $12. You're going to spend anywhere between $35, $45, maybe $50 for a nice pocket rocket original on eBay. But you do, in fact, get what you pay for. But if you're just looking for a copycat, something cheap, something that looks exactly the same. I mean, the stove works. It's got a pretty good boil time. It's just not the same as the original. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I have an entire playlist on stoves. Make sure you check that down below. If you guys don't mind and you like the video, hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps my YouTube channel and I appreciate you stopping by. If you aren't subscribed, hit the subscription button. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos here on the channel, hit that notification bell and you will be the first to know. Love looking at these imitation stoves. You can see the differences, the little differences. They feel very similar. The weights are very similar but the performance is very different. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.